Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another 2023 preview and prediction video. Today I will be doing the Iowa State Cyclones. Let's get into it. So last season Iowa State took a little bit of a step back. They went 4-8 and eight with losses to Baylor, Kansas, Kansas, uh, Kansas State, Texas, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, and TCU. Their only Big 12 win came against uh, West Virginia at home. Then their only other Power 5 win came against Iowa, where they won 10-7. to So, what's got to change for Iowa State? Well, quarterback play and the offense need to be better. They're, the most points they scored last year was 24 against Baylor and then 21 against Texas. Other than that, they were averaging about 10-14 to 14 points a game. Now, <clears throat> let's see what Matt Campbell's working with to see how he can rectify this. Well, Hunter Decker's say goodbye because I believe he got kicked off the team for his gambling uh, situation this past week. So it's between Rocco Besh and J.J. Cole, the freshman. I've heard good things about J.J. Cole um, from when he was at Elite 11, so... We'll see who wins that job. At running back, you got Jarrell Brock, Richard Sr., and Cartavius Norton, sophomore. Wide receiver, you got a transfer, Jaden Higgins, coming in from Eastern Kentucky. We'll see if he can't make an impact. You also have Dimitri Stanley and Jalen Knoll. You have two different tight ends, Easton Dean and Deshaun Hanneke. We'll see if they can't make an impact. And the offensive line is returning a lot of talent. On, def on the defensive side, you lose Will McDonald. We'll see if you can't replace him. You bring in Tobachi Okolik from Auburn, a defensive end. And at linebacker, Zachary Lovett coming in from Missouri. So besides that, your defense pretty much the same besides everybody that you lost, which that's usually how it goes. So let's look at your schedule to see what I think you're going to do this year. Well... Starting in week one, you play Northern Iowa. Now, the Iowa schools have had a hankering to lose games like this early in the year. We saw a couple of years ago, I believe you lost to Louisiana, and then uh, Iowa a couple of years ago lost to North Dakota State. So try not to do that with Northern Iowa. I don't predict you will, but just try not to. Then you host the Hawkeyes, your rival. And I think you're going to win this game because of your offense alone. I don't know if Iowa's offense is going to be uh, where it needs to be, but I think that your offense will be better. I think you win that game before going on the road to Ohio. Athens, Ohio. Hmm. I think you win that game easily to go to 3-0. and Then you come back home to play Oklahoma State. Now, Oklahoma State, they sort of got a little um, – they lost a couple of guys, key guys in the transfer portal, including Spencer Sanders. And I think that may be a big issue this early in the year for Oklahoma State. I think that you beat the Cowboys to go to 4-0. Then you'll have a big game set up against Oklahoma. Oklahoma has sort of had your number over the past couple of years. I think you beat them last year, and it was the first time in a while. I don't think you're going to beat them this year. I think Dylan Gabriel on that offense is going to be just an, is going to be enough to beat the Cyclones. Then you come back home to play TCU. I think it's a situation where Oklahoma beats you twice and you lose to Sonny Dykes and the Horn Frogs. Now, uh, Sonny Dykes doesn't need Oklahoma to beat you to beat you, but it doesn't hurt. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Then you go on the road to Nippert Stadium to take on the Cincinnati Bearcats. And I think you get a win here. Uh, much needed win before the bye week. And it could be close. We'll just have to see. Coming out of the bye week, you go to Baylor. Um, I think you get a win here. Uh, coming off a of bye, uh, you're 4 or 5-2. and two, And I think you're able to catch Baylor off guard coming out of the bye week. At this point, hopefully you have the quarterback situation figured out because you're going to need it against the Bears. Then you play Kansas at home. 
I think you lose this game. I just think that Kansas is going to have too much firepower for uh, you at this point. Kansas, Jalen Daniels is very good. You have um, Lawrence Arnold, I think is his name. Just a very well-put-together team, and I think you drop that one. Then you have to go on the road to BYU. Provo, Utah is a hard place to play, and I think this is another situation to where a team beats you twice. And I think you drop the game to BYU before coming back home and losing to Texas. Just a tr- just a tough stretch of games. Then you go on the road to Kansas State, and I think you get the win there. I think that uh, you get a little bounce back win at the end of the year to finish the season strong, and go seven and five, which is an improvement over last year. Um. Uh, Pretty good for losing your starting quarterback like a couple of weeks before the season starts. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.